Welcome back. Battling America's opioid crisis, 91 Americans die every day from an opioid overdose, according to the CDC. The annual economic burden of drug misuse costs the U.S. economy $78.5 billion. But a new drug from Nectar Therapeutics is aiming to deliver a less addictive pain reliever without the euphoric buzz. The company is planning to file for FDA approval of the drug by April. We want to talk about that as well as this company's work on cancer. Joining us right now in a Fox Business exclusive is the CEO of Nectar Therapeutics, Howard Robin. Howard, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Hi, Maria. Thank you for having you me. You are doing so much, not just with opioids, but with cancer treatments, and we want to get into that as well. But first up, let's talk about what's gone on with opioid. Uh, obviously, your company has done incredibly well. The stock is doing incredibly well, partly for both of those stories. Correct. What are you doing on opioids first? Well, look, it, it, you know, if you look at the current opioid drugs, many of them go back to the Civil War. Morphine goes back to the Civil War. Uh, oxycodone goes back to World War I. There hasn't been a lot of progress in evolving these molecules. Uh, we invented a new medicine, a new opioid molecule. It's the first new opioid in over 50 years, and it gets into the brain slowly, and because of that, it doesn't induce the chemicals that make people high. So patients can take this drug, get excellent pain relief, and not get high and therefore not get addicted to it. Yeah, because the addiction is incredible. What happens with the use of opioids? People take them and then just keep wanting more? There's a great desire to take more. They take the opioids, they get high, the, the high goes away rather quickly, and then they want to take more. And that reinforcing behavior is what drives the process. You, you filed with the FDA. How would you characterize the FDA right now? Are you seeing a quicker approval process with this new team in place? Well, look, we have fast track status for this, for this uh, medicine, so that's a good thing to start with. But overall, the FDA's overall the FDA has been working with us very closely. We have a great relationship with them, and we're very hopeful that we can bring this drug to market fairly soon. Yeah, uh, we, we were talking about the opioid crisis, but I also want to talk about the cancer progress that you've been having. Uh, immunology. Talk to us about that and where we are in the fight against cancer right now. Well, you've got a new drug that this is very uh, powerful and, and very promising. Yes, we're working in the field of cancer immuno. Uh, therapy, and if you can harness the body's own immune system to fight the cancer, uh, I think that's the way of the future in cancer care. So this drug makes the other drugs work better. I think it's the cent. Our drug, uh, our medicine, is really the centerpiece of immuno oncology. What it does is it allow it stimulates the body's immune system, and it allows the body to grow its own cancer-killing cells in the tumor, and that has a very profound effect. I I'll give you an example. Um, uh, th think about this. We have a. a, a a patient, a woman who had advanced metastatic uh, lung cancer, uh, very, very bad, very, very bad condition, tumors throughout her entire body. After just a few months of therapy with Bristol Myers Obdivo and Nectar's medicine, that patient has no tumors. Now, could you imagine going home to your family who was expecting you to die from lung cancer and then saying, listen, all my tumors are gone. It's a wonderful thing. How can people get this drug? We actually have somebody in our family in Mornings with Maria who is sick right now, and I'm not speaking out of turn because I know Dagan McDowell has talked about this. How, how, how can you get your hands on this drug right now? Well, look, we have a number of clinical trials running with Bristol-Myers Squibb. There'll be more programs that put in place. I think hopefully uh, patients who need the drug can, can get, enter into the clinical trials. And, and, and real quick, um, your your market value is already at $9 billion, 400% stock price rally. Good result. Do you need to get scale? Do you need to partner up or do a deal with somebody uh, to, 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 to get even stronger and, and, and better at getting these drugs out? Well, I think there's, there's lots of potential for this. It's a good question because there's lots of potential for this, for this uh, medicine. There's a lot of different cancers. It's worked, in, it's worked well in kidney cancer. It's worked well in... Uh, skin cancer, it's worked, worked well, as we just said, in lung cancer, and I would expect it to work in a number of other uh, cancers. So, yes, it does help to have a lot of power behind it. It does help to scale up and, and, and build an organization that will do that. But we have an excellent collaboration right now with Bristol Myers Squibb, and together we're de developing this drug, and I'm very, very hopeful about the results. Howard, we're hopeful as well, and, of course, we're all rooting for you on that score. Thanks so much. Thank you very much for having Good me. Good to Appreciate see you it. very much, Howard Robin there.